Hey everyone, what's up, Stamper Pro? And I just literally woke up. All right. So today we are going to be going over the skills tab. You can see you have all kinds of stuff right here. You have uh, attack, guard, not. Now in these first, um, in the first two, you'll see uh, notes down here. It says skill number one will be used when you select the attack command. So if you replace attack with heal, then whenever you do a normal attack, you'll basically be healing. It's it's swag like that. <laughs> Alright, so guard is uh, when you select the guard command. So if you want to say like when you defend and you want to have it like cast spark two or something when you defend, <laughs> you can you can you can pimp it out like that. Alright, so let's go over this. Okay, so you can change the maximum like like you always could. I will just create one more so we can like can kind of show you how everything works. So right here you have the name. Let's name it Bunchy Swag. I'm overusing that word. Or okay, double click this little area over here to bring up this icon list, and this icon list will have a list of icons. The list of icons. Wait, the icon list will have a list of icons from the icon list. Yes, that's not confusing at all. You know what? Let's give it this, cause it looks formal. What? I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm sorry, guys. I am very tired. I just woke up. So right here is the description. This is what shows up when, um, like, if you go to it in the equip menu and, like, it tells you what it does. So this is the description. Say, has loads of bunchies with swag stickers all over it. Period. Alright. Skill type. Uh, it can be either a special, magic, or none. Um, special is usually like physical strikes, such as hyper slash, yada yada. And magic is more or less like magic spells, like uh, like fire, fira, firaga, firaja, stuff like that. So this is gonna be a special, or you can do none, which is it's neither. Okay, MP cost. This is how much MP it costs to use it per turn. So, like, your report per time you use it. So, if you say it costs, like, 5 MP, and when you use it, it's going to take away 5 MP, and it's not going to be able to be used unless you actually have 5 MP. TP cost, uh, the, your TP gains as you battle, but when you use it, it goes back down, but it, it builds back up pretty quickly. So, TP is usually used for skills. Um, it's to replace the MP. Like, MP is usually for magic, and I think this is, uh, I think TP is called Technic Points? Or, I forget what they're called, actually. Um, okay. The scope, you can cast it on one enemy, all enemies, one random enemy, two random enemies, three random enemies, four random enemies, one ally, all allies, one ally that's dead, or all allies that's dead, in case you have revival skills. Or the user, or none. I don't know why you would attack a nun, but... No, I'm kidding. That was... Yeah. <laughs> okay, occasion. You can either choose to use it always, which means from the menu and the battle. Only in the battle. Only from the menu. Or never. No! Like, you can have a skill that you can't use. I don't... Like... I, there is a, There might be a purpose to that. If you can think of one, but at the moment, it's... I don't really... No. Okay, so, um... Let's go over here actually first. Okay, so right here you have... Okay. The value that is added to the character's agility determining attack order. So, if you have like a Pokemon thing, like Quick Attack for example, it would you, you would increase this to, in order for, to have a higher chance to go first. Success rate. The rate of which this skill... Well, the use of this skill succeeds. So, I believe if I'm, if I'm right... You can have a skill that only has a 50% chance of working. You know, like, uh, for example, Stun Spore, stuff like that, or and, and Pokemon, or Sleep Powder. It said, Butterfree used Sleep Powder, but it failed. I think it's something similar to that. Not really too sure, though. Never, never really tried to make a spell like that. Repeats. This is how many times it repeats. You can have it multiple times. Where it's similar to the whole attack nine times thing, like I said in uh, previous episodes, where you can attack nine times. It, this is basically that same thing. 
TP gain is how much TP you, like you will gain per hit. So if you hit an enemy or something, this is how much you'll gain. Yep. Okay. So right here you have the hit type. You have certain. Okay. Let me read these. Come on. Right. Certain hit treats a successful. Wait, yeah, treats a successful use of a skill as a hit. Oh, wait, as a hit? Okay, I thought it was a period. It's a comma. My eyes are, like, really tired right now. As a hit, counterattack, magic reflection, and substitute are... Okay, never mind. I did read that right, man. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Treats a successful use of a skill as a hit. Counterattack, magic reflection, and substitution are disabled. Okay, physical attack. Determines hits based on the user's hit rate and target's evasion rate. Okay, magic attack determines hits based on a magic... La la la. Target's magic evasion rate. This method is subject to magic reflection and substitution. So, if you're going to use like a normal skill, I recommend just using normal hit. And if you, do, if you don't know what to do, look at one of these. And you see, um, like, okay, let's see, fire. See, fire is a magical attack. So if you really don't know what to do, like what to make your attack, then just decide like that. See, this is a physical attack. So let's say, let's have this be, let's have Bunchy Swag be, let's do it a physical attack. Over here you have the animation where there's, which I'll go over this in the future, because there'll be uh, the tab on the animations. Um, the animations, uh, just let me show you an example of them. Here's the original <coughs> physical hit attack. And that's how those work. I'll go over these in the future, though. So, if you're going to make a new skill, you can choose one that's already there, or you can go ahead and try to make your own. Uh, if you want it to have the same effect as a normal attack, just do normal attack. Alright, so, message is what uh, what it says, like, when you use it so username which means the actor name in our case if Eric was using it, excuse me if Eric was using it would say Eric does bunchy swag <laughs> all right um okay I don't know what this bottom bar is for picture I guess it's just to extend it on with a Bunchy Nyan Cat. Yeah, okay, it does. It just it just continues on. <laughs> Alright, so down here you have weapon type. Uh, you can have this, uh, like, okay. Say if you have, if you want magic spells to only be able to be used while you're holding a rod, or when you have a, some kind of staff equipped, then that's how you would do this. You would do staff. So now Bunchy Swag can only be used if you have a staff or a sword, for example. If you say none, it can be used with any. Weapon type 2, you can have two different weapon types. So you can say um, a bow or a claw. That's the only times you can use this skill. This is very, very, very handy if you're trying to make like where um, certain skills are accessible through different equipment. HP damage, um, right here you have the damage type. It can either do MP damage to your enemy, HP recovery, MP recovery, HP drain, which will be absorbed to you, uh, MP drain, which will be absorbed to you as well. But we're going to do HP damage. Uh, it's not going to have any elements. It's just, it's just going to be a normal, it's just going to be a physical, actually. Let's make it, let's give it a physical. <laughs> let's give the bunchy a physical. Yeah, that sounds horrifying, doesn't it? Okay, the formula. Let me how, let me go ahead and explain how this works. This is your base value. Base value is pretty much here, let me explain. The base value used in calculating the amount of damage. So let's do about ten. So it's it's always going to be at least ten unless the user's defense is times something is higher, which I'll I'll explain it after we do all this stuff. <laughs> okay. Physical like the higher this is the more it's going to use on your physical rate. Um, so I'm going to do about 25 physical and 5 magical. 
Um, now, all of that it just leaves this huge confusing thing. So, let me explain how this works. 10 plus the actor's attack times 1. Which, that's... Okay. Anyways, 10 times the actor's attack, or 10 plus the actor's attack, plus actor's magic attack times 0 0.1, minus the target's defense times 0 0.5, and minus the target's magic defense times 0 0.1. Um, I apologize that that doesn't make sense. Hold on, let me open a notepad. I'll try. All right, so now that I've opened a notepad, let me try to explain this right here. So you have, you know, what was the formula? Let's copy it down. Oops, uh, that slash is not supposed to be there. <laughs> All right. So this is 10 plus the actor's attack. So let's go to classes. Let's say the attack is 20. 20 times 1 equals 20. So, you have 20. And let's say, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Where is it? I apologize if you guys can hear people screaming in the background who really don't give a crap about anybody else. Alright, um, so where were we? Skills? This is very distracting when you have people yelling in your background and you try to talk over them. So, what was it? One, okay, times 1 plus magic attack. So our magic attack is 10. So I also need a calculator. Give me a moment. Wow, um, I just realized that I can't just put a star because, yeah, the star symbol is actually what stops my recording. Okay, sorry about that. Anyways, let's try to explain this again. So you have 10 plus the actor's attack times 1 plus the actor's magic attack times 0 0.1 minus the enemy's defense times 0 0.5 minus the enemy's magic defense times 0 0.1 so basically that's how the formulas work now you know what I'll be right back alright alright I'm back I'm back alright so let's go I apologize about this episode this is very very unprofessional so now, that's how the formulas work. The variance, I forget what that does. Let's read this. The degree of variability. The value of the final damage will be will vary by this percentage. Okay, so... Oh, okay. So it's either going to be less or more. And this is the vary. So, like, I don't, I don't think there's any actual way of explaining, like... But I'm going to try, like... Say if you have, like, 60, I think that it has a chance of doing a lot or a very little amount of damage. I think 20 is the um, best default. Critical, I'm guessing this gives you a chance of having a critical. Okay, yep. Alright, if you say yes, it has a chance of getting a critical. This is effects. Now, similar to the uh, perimeters, it looks very similar to the perimeters thing. <clears throat> so, you can, on the effects, when, on used, you can have it recover HP, by a percentage or a um, or normal points. So normally, like for a heal spell, you would do percentage. Um, if you want to do like small heal, you would say like five or ten percent or twenty five percent. And or you can do like if you just want to do a set amount of healing, like say um, say small heal recovers five hundred HP. It would always recover five hundred if you did the the P right here. Same exact thing. Blah, same thing with the uh, recover MP. It's basically the exact same as I just went over here. The gain TP will gain a certain amount of TP percentage um, during the battle. That's how that would work. Add state. You can you can actually have it add like a death effect where it'll instantly kill. So if you have a spell called like death or something, that's how you would do that with just using effect. You can also remove state. You can actually remove the death of your party member by attacking him <laughs> if you wanted to. So, yeah, that's how that works. You uh, Again, this is the percentage, so if you have like 50%, then it, it would have a, a half chance of working. 
you can add a buff so you can add okay buffs work like they increase temporarily so you can temporarily increase your max HP max MP attack defense magic attack magic defense agility and luck and all that good stuff you can temporarily increase those and here's the amount of turns that you can set it to do that debuff is the exact same thing except it takes away temporarily remove buff if if you if you or an enemy I think enemies can get buffs if you have a buff and you want to remove it and that's how you would do that and you can also remove a debuff if you're like down or something you can do you can do d uh, dispel for example and you can kind of remove all the debuffs and magic like effects on you special effect you can have it instantly cause you to escape you can actually grow the max HP by a certain amount of points which that's very nice you can actually grow all kinds of stats by one alright learn skill and you can do you can do like if you use this for example it can teach you another thing which is really cool and you can also have it call a common event this is remarkably useful in so many ways like that's probably the most useful thing in in this skills area because common events allow you to activate an event what why, why did it right click anyways <clears throat> they allow you to activate events and you can do you can work wonders with events trust me all right so that's that so this has been the skills episode um, here's the notes notes I'm a bunchy all right guys so thank you all for watching I'll see you later